Hey, how's it going? Andy here. Today I'm going to show you how to make your N64 region free. Now, you're probably wondering why would I want to make my N64 region free? Well, for one, this is a gold N64, but it's a Japanese gold N64. The reason why I got this was I got it for like 10 or 15 bucks plus like $10 shipping off of eBay because it didn't work. All it needed was a jumper pack, so I put it in, but the only issue is it's a Japanese N64, so I can't play American games on it because of the lockout. Now, the lockout for N64s are physical, just like Super Nintendo. If you try to put a Super Famicom in into your American Super Nintendo, it's not going to fit, only because there's tabs. So, plus there's other consoles that came out that are really, really hard to find that were Japanese exclusives. So if you manage to get your hands on one, you're going to want to play it, in my opinion. So, what a lot of people do is they actually take a Dremel and they'll cut out the tabs. So, when I say it's physical, it's physically pieces of plastic preventing you to put the games in. So, unlike the NES, which was software based, like there's a chip on the motherboard, you'd have to disable it. Um, Nintendo with the Super Nintendo and the N64 went for something uh, more physical. Well, it is physical. So let me show you an example of that. So right here I have Japanese Ocarina of Time and American Ocarina of Time. The fronts minus the color and the label are basically the same. But if you turn over the back, as you can see, those little slots are totally different. So the American one the slots are closer to the edges than on the Japanese, they're more in. Like, they're a little bit bigger and they're in more. So, there's ways you can get around that. You can swap the backs out, which to me, that's kind of annoying. Or you can, I'm pretty sure you can use a Game Shark because I'm pretty sure Game Sharks you can just pop in, doesn't really matter. But, if you don't want to do that, if you don't have a Game Shark, what do you do? So, let me just show you. American one, this Japanese console, push down, it, it doesn't fit. So, then you take the Japanese one, and you put it in, works just fine. So, the power and the AV cables are all the same. So, like I said, some people will physically cut out the tabs. I'm not going to do that. I was going to, but then I found this on eBay. It's a 3D printed cartridge tray. That makes your N64 region free. This is only $13 plus free shipping. So I was like, well, yeah, I'm going to do that instead. So uh, I was about to cut them out, but then my Dremel was it was dying. So like the battery was low. And I was just browsing eBay and I came across this. So let me show you the tools you're going to need to get in to your N64. So you're going to need one of these. This is a 4.5 millimeter security bit. Uh, I'll leave this whole package on eBay. Uh, you will need a screwdriver. And just like Pry Tool, you can use a flathead screwdriver, it's so not a big deal. So let's get into the actual system. Now, I already unscrewed the bottom just to save a little bit of time, but there's going to be two black feet one right here, one right here. They're going to have uh, screws in that. There's going to be one right there in the middle, then one, two, three so you want to just unscrew those then take off the cover for the memory expansion slash jumper pack just take a pry tool uh, there's a little slot you just kind of stick it in and just pry up like it doesn't take a lot of force at all let me show you where that little spot is right there it's a little hard to see but you just basically just put your tool in just pop it up not hard whatsoever then you're just gonna need the top part now is actually a really good time to clean your system. I already cleaned this. I cleaned it when I first got it. So just gonna go ahead and flip it. Now there's two screws, one right there and one right there. One on each end. Then just take your screwdriver. Go ahead and undo those. Then once you have the screws out, just go ahead and set them off to the side. You will reuse them. So let me show you the difference between these so basically i don't know if you can tell you see those little plastic 
things sticking out right there. Use this to show you guys. Right there and right there. So that's what's preventing you to play like Japanese games or American games on different consoles. On the American ones are going to be a little bit different. Japanese are going to be different as well. With this one, there are no tabs. So it's just empty space. Sure, you could just not use it. I don't recommend it because it helps hold in the dust covers. So, which they like to pop out. So just go ahead and make sure those are flat. And then this side right here with the space, with the big gap, goes towards the front of the system. So just go ahead, pop this in. That looks good. Then go ahead and screw it in. So it is done. Now when you're screwing these in, you just want to snug them up a little bit. Everything works just fine. Then what you want to do, you obviously just want to put it back together. So you just set this right on top. There we go. Uh, go ahead and put this back in. Put the cover back on. Then you just want to put uh, the bottom screws in. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to do that right now. But let me just show you that this actually does work. So Japanese, awkward of time, plugs right in. Then American, plugs right in, no issues at all. All right, just to show you guys that this does actually work, here is Ocarina of Time going in. This is the Japanese console, as you can see, hopefully. Uh, just go ahead and power this on. See. Power on, power light comes on. Here's my TV. I have no other N64s hooked up. Works just fine. So just hit start. There you go. All right, so that's all you have to do. Now, I'll leave everything you need linked down below. The seller, however, they did only have about 10 left of the trays. So I'm not sure if they'll get any more, but I'll leave it linked down below. If they are sold out, let me know. I'll try to find another seller that does it, and I'll leave them linked down below. I'll also leave the link to this tool set and everything you need to take apart and even clean your N64. This way, you can just buy them all at once if you need to, or you can just find like certain items that you need. And yeah, I'll just have them linked down below. So with that being said, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. You guys rock. Stay rad. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.